Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Soul Squad, about face. We're about to hop into a review of a casual shoe. Yes. A cruiser, if you will. Uh, this is an Adidas EQT ADV, some crazy number. Prime knit. Uh, carry the three, but it's prime knit, no boost. Yes. Right, you can get boost, no prime knit. Can you get boost, no prime knit? Yeah, you can. No. Ultra Boost one. I don't think it's Prime Knit. Oh, okay. But they got all different types of combinations. I am just, Confucian. It's, it's crazy. They, 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 they're going nuts with these. Did you see that video? What? I am Confucian. I am Confucius. <laughs> you didn't see that one? No. I gotta show you. Okay, anyways, all right. <clears throat> Let's start this right off um, on the bottom. So, um, not the most best looking bar. I don't really usually care what the bottom looks like, but this looks weird. Uh, yeah, it looks it's just like, it's just circles. Wobbles. It, it looks just kind of cheap or something. I don't yeah, know. and uh, to tell you guys something, if you guys need a non-slip shoe or something like that, um, this is not it. And, and if you, I guess, if you didn't even need a non-slip shoe and you still like traction, this is, this the traction sucks, right? Mm -hmm. um, me and Don, uh, we went to eat the Korean barbecue and I was wearing these. And the floor was tile or ceramic or whatever the fuck it is. And um, I, don't, I don't know if it was really oily or something, or maybe it was water, but I was just slipping around all over that surface. Um, if the floor is a little wet, uh, and there, it's a wood floor or whatever, you'll be slipping. Uh, it, just, it just doesn't grab anything, really. So uh, the traction sucks. You have uh, two rubber pieces here on the, in the heel and the toe area, all, all the circles are basically the midsole. And the midsole is really slippery. So, um, also the durability, I, I think, would not be very good. No, the, there's little, um, t there's texture on these little bumps yeah. that is that are the midsole material and they're already wearing down. Exactly, so um, I think Adidas should have added some rubber to these circle materials yeah. and uh, maybe use a different rubber material so it increases the traction or something because uh, the bottom is just, it's not that good. But you, you don't know? need crazy traction, but I mean, if it's raining out or something, yeah. you don't want to be sliding everywhere. Yeah. So I guess if you're walking around on concrete and shit, it's, it's okay. Yeah. But um, and it's just my experience. So um, it, that was kind of annoying. Uh, I was slipping a little bit wherever, uh, wherever I was uh, walking on my like, hard surfaces, I guess, like mm -hmm. wood and stuff. So mm -hmm. there, there you go. All right. So um, now, uh, moving on to the midsole slash cushioning system, uh, it's just a foam. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure what it is. It's probably an EVA um, shitty foam because this shit is yeah. hard. It's their cheapest foam, and they just made it real thin. Yeah. What would be nice is it would, you know bounce, you know, or something like that. But yeah, um, it's a really cheap shoe though. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Um, <clears throat> so there's that, and then which is super stiff. Mm-hmm. Uh, not comfortable at all. You feel really low to the ground, but you know who cares? It's a casual shoe. You're walking around in it. Um, the insole is it helps a little bit with the step and comfort. I'll t give it that, but uh, it doesn't really improve the overall cushion. You know, it's not very mushy or whatever like yeah. boost would be. <clears throat> so um, it just helps a little bit with the ortho light insole. So cushion. It's, I guess it's a little bit nicer than Roshi's, a little, a, like, comparable to a Roshi, yeah. a little nicer, so, yeah. um, you know, I don't like that, you know, uh, that's the reason why when everyone was wearing Pure Boost, uh, when everyone was wearing Roshi's, I was wearing Pure Boost because I could not stand Roshi's, mm -hmm. uh, because of the shitty ass cushion, so, there's that, um, moving on to the upper, it's Prime Knit, it's a knit, yeah, it's really comfortable, it's stretchy, it looks dope, it looks dope, yeah. The pattern is really cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a nice little step up from uh, my version, which is just a mesh, kind of uh -huh. shitty mesh. This feels real nice and premium. Uh huh. And then uh, here on the ankle collar area, it's like uh, prime the prime the NMDs, you know. Uh, it stretches out here in the ankle collar area where you can slide your foot in. It helps with uh, just, you know, just sliding your foot in. You don't have to like untie your shoelaces or whatever. Um, it sounds uh, minimal, but it's it ends up being a big thing. Mm -hmm. Like ease of putting a shoe on and off, especially for a casual shoe. Oh my like, god, these guys are complaining about it. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> I, I'll grab a shoe that I just 
can just throw on and, and take off like an ultra boost it's just i don't know something about it and even the, the lunar epics yeah right they look like they're hard to put on but they're one of the easiest to put on yes so um yeah so uh, the prime Nate is actually really supportive it's uh it's really soft as in it's soft <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but um it doesn't stretch as much maybe uh comparable to like the uh nmd r2 or something like that it definitely doesn't stretch as much um, so I feel like it's a more supportive type of upper. Uh, it feels a little bit nicer uh, if you want that support, you know. Yeah. So, um, but still uh, a little bit stretchy and soft. There you go. Um, so I like the material. Yeah, and the rest of it, the rest of it is pretty much the same as the other EQTs. Yeah. Um, you got your plastic wing that comes into like a little heel counter. You got these uh, kind of nylon straps that are the Adidas stripes, of course. Um, but fit wise. Size. True to size, and, um, and, and, and is it? I assume it's more comfortable than the regular EQTs. Um, AMGs. yeah. Um, it's uh, the the you know the regular one. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it doesn't have the mesh material, but it has like that. Remember that? Um, what do you call it? It was a knit material. Remember that one? Right, that finish line. It's pink. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it, it's not a mesh material. <clears throat> it's a, basically a knit. Yeah. And it doesn't have this uh, ankle collar thing, um, but I feel like the materials are really similar. Uh, they're both really soft. Um, this is actually a lot more supportive. The other one is a lot stretchier, you, mm -hmm. know, you know, but so anyways, um, fit, uh, go true to size. I went down half a size and it's a little tight and especially um, uh, for wide footers. Uh, maybe you should go up half a size because it does fit narrow. Yeah, and, and if you're you know used to you know other shoes like Pure Boost and Ultra Boost, and you're used to going down half a size in Adidas, this is different. Yeah. This this model is is true to size. Yes. Uh, which is good weird, idea. but I guess it's good. Yeah. You so know, I'd like them to start moving towards that direction. Jet cream. So um yeah um so walking around in it uh it, the oh. The final price, I think, what was it, like 140 for the pregnant? Yeah, Yeah, the regular is like 110. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's actually not the cheapest shoe yeah, um, with the Prime Knit. Yeah, it's a $30 increase because of the Prime Knit uh, name, but the regular one also, uh, or you can just check the materials. If it has like a knit material, it's definitely mm -hmm. uh, comparable, you know? It just doesn't have, it's just different here in the ankle call area, which I don't yeah. think is a big, you know, difference. Um, so, uh, what are my afterthoughts? Um, I definitely think it's an aesthetic shoe. That's it. You know, that's it. It's not, it's not, com the, the Prime Knit helps, definitely. Uh, the Prime Knit is very comfortable, I'll say, mm -hmm. especially stretching over my foot, but the, the cushion sucks. Um, I, I would say it's more of like a more premium Roshi, you know? Yeah. Um, Roshis are 70 bucks and they basically, uh, the material is not as nice, the fit is not as nice. And they're kind of played beyond belief. <clears throat> exactly. Uh, but but they're not so normal that they're just like a chuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're, they're creeping there though. I think at one point they might get there because that, that shoe was, that's a legendary shoe. Yeah. That's a legendary silhouette. But right now they're just played. These are not played. Um, maybe at one point they will be. But yeah, this is an aesthetic shoe. Um, it's not crazy expensive but it's not the cheapest this is like you know uh, it's kind of like a baby hype beast shoe yeah right like you can work you can ease your way into the sneakerhead game with this you know they're not it's not like a, a limited ultra boost or like a yeezy of course uh, but it's also not like your low budget you know it, it's got a good aesthetic look to it yes. and, and everything about the shoe is just for aesthetics i feel like even this knit is cool probably comfortable but it looks dope yes the 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 the, the um pattern is really cool so yeah i mean you either like the silhouette or you don't yeah pretty so much that's what you're buying for it's, <clears throat> it's uh it's pretty comfortable i'd say it's way more comfortable than the roshi but definitely nothing compared to like the pure boost or any uh, boost model for casual wear or ultra boost you know stuff like that and nowhere near <clears throat> the uh the eqt boost yes, yes. nowhere i mean they couldn't be in the opposite spectrums as yes. far as comfort. <clears throat> exactly. So, um, there you go. That's it. That's the review. Um, it feels like the Roshi, but a little bit more comfortable. There you go. Yeah. All right. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope we helped you guys out. And we'll see you guys next Later. week. Later. Peace.